Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going through my top tips to help you stand out in your dental application. These are just going to be some general things that you may be able to add on to your personal statement or they might just help you out in your interview. Overall, they'll just help your dental application in general. So before I get into the rest of the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my content. If you could also check out my Instagram and TikTok, that would be great as well. All the links will be down below in the description. My top tip to help you boost your dental application is to make sure you read your course requirements carefully. A lot of people think that when they look at the websites for case CL or Bristol or any of these dental universities, the most important information to find is just the grades that you need to get in. But if you keep scrolling down, you'll actually find there's a lot more information about what extracurricular things they're looking for. I'm going to use King's as an example. So on their website, they actually mention voluntary work as something that they look for. They also mention shadowing at a dentist or like just work shadowing as something that they find as an extracurricular thing that they value and just anything like an interest or, an, or a hobby that shows your integration into society. So these are just some extra things that you can find in your course website that will help you stand out because so many people just overlook and they don't take into account that every university is looking for different things. So if you've got in mind a certain dental university that you've got as your top choice, you should make sure that you check out what they're looking for specifically before you write your personal statement. And also before you go to their interviews because you can kind of guess what type of things they're gonna be asking you about. Leading on from this, it's also important to note that one thing that will make you stand out more than anyone in your personal statement or in your interviews or just dentistry in general is the extracurricular things that you do. Bear in mind that every single person that gets into dentistry is going to get the good grades. So just having good predictors is not enough. On top of this, having a good UCAT, all these extra things is enough to secure the interview, but it might not allow you to get to the next stage. So it's important to note that you need to have extra things that you can talk about to make you stand out in your interview and personal statement. So this is where extracurricular activities come in. In my opinion, these are the most important things that you should be working on in your two years in sixth form. Of course, you need to do well in your A-level, and that's the top priority. However, you should also be looking at extracurriculars as a very, very, very integral part of improving your uh, dentistry application as a whole. Bear in mind that when you apply for dental school, it's a holistic approach. So they're gonna look at every single different element that makes you a unique candidate. So again, don't over rely on doing good academically or good in your UCAP because there's other things that you need to take into account and other things you need to improve. So now I've mentioned extracurriculars being important. How can you actually, you know, do more extracurricular activities. So as I've mentioned in my personal statement video, which you can find linked up above here, um, extracurricular activities are not too hard to come by. The easiest way for you to find an activity that you might enjoy is by looking at your hobbies and interests and then trying to find a club at your school that does something related to that or joining another club outside of school that does something related to your interest or hobby or even, you know, starting your own club. And I've mentioned clubs a lot, but they're probably the easiest way for you to start doing something extracurricular because most schools and sick forms will have clubs after school or have clubs just in general that you can in interact with and boost your extracurriculars by. On top of this, you don't have to do things that are necessarily related to clubs. You can just mention other interests and hobbies that you have. So for example, for me, in my application, specifically in my interview, uh, when I was asked about the different extracurricular things that I did, I mentioned that I had like a little side hustle where I sold like um, sneakers and streetwear. Of course, this isn't something that's specifically related to dentistry, but it just showed that I was more than just a person that you know, got okay grades and was able to get into the school. So having extra things to talk about is very, very important. On top of this, a way to optimize your extracurricular activities is by linking everything that you have to a skill. So as I said, you can look at KCL or look at Bristol or Manchester or whatever university you're applying to is uh, admissions page and see what skills they're looking for. Sometimes I have them, sometimes they won't. Even if they don't, really simply just look online and look at like the key elements of a dentist. That's if you're applying for dentistry. So some key skills that a dentist has to possess are things like critical thinking, leadership, communication, empathy, and manual dexterity. These are five skills that you need to show evidence of in your personal statement in the interview. And a way for you to show evidence of having these skills is by doing extracurricular activities. So for leadership skills, you can apply for different roles at school, so school council or house captain, stuff like that, or apply for roles in different sports teams, or just just working in a team in general will help boost your communication skills and you can do you can apply this sort of logic for each different skill so for example for manual dexterity I said that I used to do fine measurement titrations in chemistry which is something really easy to mention because everyone does titrations if you do chemistry at A level but that's just an example to show an effective use of mentioning an extracurricular activity in your personal statement or interview and that will help boost your dental application because it helps streamline the whole process just by throwing in an extracurricular activity in your personal statement or mentioning it in the interview is not going to be enough to be impressive for the interviewer or for the person assessing your personal statement. It doesn't show your ability to find skills within the extracurricular activities that you've done. And that's the whole point of extracurricular activities is number one is having fun. And number two, it's to show that you can use these activities to help improve yourself. So just to summarize what I've just said, try and do extracurricular activities, but link them to skills. That's a way to really start streamlining your process and start streamlining everything that you do. On top of this, a really simple exercise you can do is write down all the different things that you've done extracurricularly. So any roles that you've had, any clubs that you're a part of, and then try and work out what skills relate to these different extra activities you've done. You can use the five that I mentioned before, so critical 
thinking, manual dexterity, leadership, communication, and empathy, and try and find the activity that you've done and link it to each of these skills. And if you find anything that's missing, well, there you go. That means that you need to find a new activity that relates to one of those skills. That's just a very easy way for you to flesh out your whole application and help boost you above the rest of your competition. Because at the end of the day, even though a lot of people do a lot of different activities, they might not be able to apply this knowledge and the experience that they've had correctly in their personal statement and interview. My next tip to help you stand out in your dental application is to find something that you're passionate about. So do some research into this course, do some research into dentistry and find out what things in particular are interesting to you. For me, the most interesting thing I found in dentistry when I was applying was maxillofacial surgery. Max Max surgery deals with a lot of very complex cases, especially with a lot of trauma accidents in the facial region. And I just found this profession to be really, really fascinating and I did a lot of uh, research and reading into it. Stuff like reading different articles in journals and looking on Instagram pages, you know, just to see different cases. Doing any little thing like that just shows your passion into the subject. Not only is this good for your application with your, you know, personal statement in an interview, but it's also good for you because it helps show what you actually find interesting in dentistry. There's no point doing dentistry because you think you might like it or you think it sounds like a good career. You need to find out what is the particular reason that you enjoy the course or you're going to enjoy this career. Because this isn't something that you do for two, three years. Number one, the course itself is five years. And then on top of that, you've probably got a 30 year career past that. So make sure you really want to do dentistry before you apply. And once you've found out the true reason why you want to do it, it's really helpful because you're going to be asked in your interview about why you want to do dentistry and in your personal statement you have to elaborate about what are the reasons that you know you were drawn to dentistry in the first place. So again just make sure that you have a clear reason as to why you're passionate about dentistry and why you want to do this course. This idea is also applicable for all other types of courses especially medicine because bear in mind so many people are just doing it because they think it's a good career and it's just a good career choice so showing an actual passion will help you stand out from the crowd. My next piece of advice to stand out in your application is to make sure that you write down everything you learn in your work experience. I know that in the year 2020 not a lot of people have got their work experience but for the few of you that have you need to make sure that you take notes when you have these sessions. For example if you're at a dental practice and you see something interesting ask the dentist what they're doing and take note of the procedures that they do. You can also state interesting interactions you see with the patient and the dentist. You can talk about how you see the importance of teamwork when you saw the interaction of the dental nurse and the dentist or the dental therapist or the other different you know team members in a dental practice. All of this is very good to take down and note down because in a few months time after you do your work experience you might forget all the important things that you learned. So again, it's just very important to make sure if you secure work experience or you shadow someone, you take like a notebook or you take an iPad or something where you can write down the things that you learn and take note of any key elements or any key, you know, events that you see. So for example, for me, I took note of interesting procedures my dentist did. In one case, he was using a laser to help cut into the gum to help deal with the patient's pain. So I asked him about that, asked about the different types of lasers, asked about how he, you know, learned this technology, etc, etc. You don't need to have something specific like that, but just ask your dentist and be interested interactive in your work experience. Because at the end of the day, work experience can be very, very, very boring if you don't engage. So make sure you're engaged and make sure you have a notebook so you can write down all the interesting things you find. And let's say you haven't got work experience this year, which is fine. You should try and find other methods to gain experience about dentistry. I've mentioned this a few times, but you need to make sure that you have other things to replace the dental work experience section in your personal statement or in your interview, because it's a key thing that they like to ask about. So you should do things like MOOCs, which are online courses. You should do things like interact with different influencers or interact with people online on Instagram with different, you know, dental pages. And, you know, maybe even subscribe to the student BDJ and, and maybe even read into articles online about dentistry, you know, different research articles, etc, etc. I'm going to be going more in depth in my next video about what you should be doing in your interview and the different things they might ask you, the different style of questions, etc, etc. So if you're interested, please make sure that you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my videos and catch that when it comes out. My last tip to help you stand out on your dental application is to use the internet. The internet is such a massive resource and there's so many interesting things that you can find there that will help you boost your application. I've mentioned a few things like MOOCs and looking at online articles and interacting with people on Instagram. However, there's so many other things that you can do. Just typing in dentistry and looking at different pages, forums, etc. will help you find some interesting content and something that might spark your imagination or excitement for the course. This link back to the whole idea of finding what you're passionate about. Using the internet to look online and to be a bit proactive in finding things that you like is just very important. One thing that you can do is to research all the different dental professions and see which one appeals the most to you. This is a nice exercise to help you find something that you're interested in and then based on that you can do some more research and do some more reading to find what specific things you enjoy. And on top of this you might just find some extra content for you to talk about in your interview or in your personal statement. You don't want to be in this situation where you're writing a personal statement and you haven't got enough things to talk about. And on top of this, you don't want to be in an interview where, you know, you have five minutes to talk and you can only fill up two minutes of it because you don't have anything interesting to 
were mentioned. So just make sure that you have a lot of knowledge, a lot of interest in dentistry, and that you read up a lot. Use the internet to your benefit and just do as much research as you can. Let's say you're applying this year, you still have a few months before your first interviews come in. So just make sure that you read up and find some interesting things that you can talk about. On top of this, if you start now, you can use some of the information you find to integrate it into your personal statement. Just make sure you use the internet and just don't be lazy. If you want to get into the top dental schools in this country, you need to make sure that you have something interesting to talk about. Because there's so many people that are going to be saying the same thing over and over again. If you don't find something unique, you will not stand out and you know, you just won't get a place. So I hope that video was helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all my videos. And you can also check out my other videos if you know you want any more information on the UCAT or personal statement, etc. I'll have some videos linked down below in the description. And yeah, also make sure that you check out my Instagram and my TikTok. I always plug them. There's also some other interesting content there if you want to check them out. And that's it really. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.